Hey guys, it's time for another Let's Color Grade. And today I thought we should check out some cinematic blues or at least working with the blue colors. I have a clip from my drone that I shot while I was in Indonesia earlier this year. And as it often is with blue colors, at least I find that when I capture it with my camera, either with the drone or my Canon R6, the blue colors doesn't really turn out the way that I want them. Either they are too teal or they're too pale or it doesn't really look like the blue deep colors that you sometimes see yourself when you are out in the water or you see in movies and stuff like that. So I thought today, why not dive into one of those clips? I have a top down clip with my friend Grit lying on the beach and the water coming in from the side. And it is kind of tealish and a little bit pale. So I thought we should try and pop that up a little bit and get some blue colors out of that. So without saying much more, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. All right, guys, we are inside DaVinci Resolve. And the first thing I want to do is make this new workflow that I have started doing using the DaVinci White Gamut color space. So we are going to convert our footage from D Gamut and D Lock, my drone's color profile and color space. And we are going to convert it into DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. Then we're gonna make another node. I'm just gonna copy the color space transform, just so I don't have to drag it on again. Convert this from DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate onto Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4. So it essentially looks pretty much the same, but now we're working inside of these two nodes, we're working in the DaVinci White Gamut color space. And that's just to make sure that colors work the same way, even if it's drone clips, Sony, Canon, whatever camera you're colors come from when you're working inside this the colors will work and act the exact same way so we're just going to work with this one clip today as you can see here it is a top-down clip and we have the water coming in here it is quite teal and pale i think instead of this deep blue colors that i would like and i can also see looking at the water here that it looks like it is a little bit cool in the temperature so we might need to fix that but the first thing we want to do is create our contrast so i'm going to create two notes actually i'm going to create three notes because we talked about doing the temperature today for once. First, we want to push in some contrast. I don't want to go too far on the contrast here because I know that it was pretty harsh light we were shooting in here. Let's see, I think this is probably pretty good. And it looks way too dark now, but don't worry. Let's go into our primaries in another note, the previous note from our contrast. Push up the offset a little bit. And then we might wanna pull down the gain just a tad, maybe down to around 0.9. If I can hit that, there we go. And then maybe pull out the lift a little bit just to try and even everything out, get it to a nice spot. I think this looks pretty good. And then from looking at the blues or like the white that's supposed to be white here, I still feel like they look a little bit too bluish. So going to notes two, I'm gonna try and warm it up a little bit with our temperature here, just to see if we can get it to a nicer white color. I think around 200 looks like, at least that's a little bit better. It still looks a little bit blue, but we can fix that later on. Let's look at everything else. I think it looks like it might still be a tiny tad too dark. Let's just see if we lift up our contrast here a little bit more. Maybe not as much in the darker parts, like so. And I think that's a pretty good starting point for our color correction. So let's leave it at that. Now, let's make another row. So this was our conversion into the white, uh, DaVinci White Gamut. This was our conversion into Rig 709. This is our color correction. And now we're going into the color grading where we are gonna get a little bit more creative with the colors. So when we look at the colors down here in the curve in hue versus hue, you can already see here that this is probably the water as that looks like it is more towards the green tones than the blue tones or the teal tones that we want. So I'm pretty sure if we just click and drag a little bit on these colors, we will get exactly that point just as expected. And then if we push it down, we should get it more to a blue color. We can see we're not hitting all the colors. So I think if we drag this out a little bit, it gets better and better. We don't want it to get all the way over to these tones over here, which is pretty much here. I think we're hitting something a little bit better now. Let's drag this over as well. Just see if we can push it down a little bit more, not too far. Still need a little bit more of those colors. And now we can see now we're moving too far. We're not really hitting 
these green zones in here and we are it looks like but we are just not really getting them so i'm just gonna pull this one in and then drag this down a little bit more so this already made a bit of a difference but i still see those green tones in here so i think we can fix that in a minute when we work a little bit more on the darker parts and we can make some masking to fix that but just right off the bat we can get these blues to look quite a bit better by just making sure that we are covering these tones here and because everything else is in these warmer tones we're not we can go we can stretch it pretty far and still have a nice look let's just have a look at the saturation let's see if we can make some points that are pretty much where the other one was so it's maybe a little bit over here as well i think we want desaturated i don't think we want to go too much overboard this is going to be too much so just desaturate it a little bit and then i want to see if we can brighten it up a little bit in the luminance here just make it a little bit yeah just brighten it up a little bit because we're going to mask it and make it some deeper colors later so i think actually from this you can already see it looks it looks pretty good let's see if we continue over here we're not really hitting these colors here at all those are just transparent but i feel like we're doing a pretty okay job over here it still has some green tones but i think we're doing okay so let's leave it at this for now go into a second note here or the sixth note and then let's try and play around a little bit with the lift and the gamma and the gain so we're going to try and start with the lift here we're just going to push some more blues into that see what happens if we remove or add some of the other colors and maybe just remove some of the reds as well add green or remove green let's see add one green maybe and then try and counter that a little bit in the gamma by adding some more red not too much red maybe remove a blue and a green i think we also got from a now that we did that we can see that these colors in here is actually a little bit more yellow so now we got them to somewhat of a warmer look it might still be a little bit too magenta up in the shadows here so let's just take a look at what we can do about that so maybe add one more green and remove the red here just zero that out again i think that's a little bit better and it also helped a little bit on our greens here that we removed that from the shadows i think that looks a little bit better already let's try and zoom in a little bit it is definitely less green overall so i think that's pretty good and I like how that looks. Let's see what happens if we add or remove something inside of the gain here. So let's just add two in the gain. And let's try and remove a little bit of that green. So maybe just one green. Remove a little bit of the blue as well. Or maybe add, no, remove one blue. And that just added a little bit more of a touch, I think. Got rid of a little bit more of that green, but not a lot. Still a little bit too magenta over here, but I think that's okay for now. Let's keep it at these two because now we want to move into the masking. So we are gonna grab a squared mask or rectangular mask here, zoom out a little bit more. And we are gonna try and see Shift H to see what we're marking here. See if we can just get these parts. And I wanna add a qualifier and I wanna make sure that we're not getting the brightest parts here. So actually I'm gonna drag in the mask a little bit more just to make sure that I can see what we're working with and then in the luminance curve here I'm going to make sure that I'm not getting everything in here and then we're going to soften it out like so and then maybe drag it in a little bit more this I think is pretty good and now we can drag back the mask a little bit just to make sure that we're only affecting this part over here and with this mask I want to First of all, I want to lower the lift a little bit, or maybe actually the gamma instead, just to make it a little bit deeper. And then I want to add some more blue into this, just to give it a nice deep blue. Maybe we want to remove a green more and add another blue. Zero out the reds. I'll actually remove one more red. I think that looks pretty good. Now it's more of a deeper blue. See if we want to move down the gain a little bit as well just a tiny bit all right so i think this is a nicer blue that we're getting now just see what we're doing here you can see before it looked already a lot better than we had in the beginning but doing this we get 
a lot more blues. Now what we have to be careful with here is that when we move in and out, see now when we get further out, it doesn't really affect it as much. So I still think, still think this is okay, but the greens are not really that affected. I think it's okay that there's some nuance, especially when we're looking down, it's because you can see more of the bottom and that blends together with the blue, so that turns it more green. So now I just wanna focus on the middle part. So I'm just gonna grab a circular mask and feather it out, get in here, shift H to see what we're working with. And just kinda of wanna make sure that we're not too overexposed in the middle here. So just gonna drag down the gamma a little bit, the gain a tiny bit, drag up the lift a little bit. Then I'm gonna play around with adding or removing some red, just adding a few more reds. So I think that's actually a little bit too much. So just removing one again. It is a little bit warmer now and I like that. And then for this part over here, because that's also a dark part, I actually just wanna remove a lot of the focus here and I feel like the colors are a little bit too saturated over here. So we're gonna make another mask and pull that over here, drag it down, feather it in and just have a look at what we're doing here. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna reduce some of the saturation in here. I'm gonna use the curves for that in this case, first at least, and then I'm going to bring down the saturation here as well, just to maybe 25. And just to remove some of that color in here. So I'm just gonna move it in a little bit more. Get a bit of a stronger look and then I'm going to lower the gamma a little bit as well just to make it darker. We still have some detail and stuff in here but now we've just desaturated all the colors a lot and made it a little bit darker to make sure that it doesn't take up too much focus. And I'm not sure that we are completely fine with the blues up here so I'm going to move back into our curves and just see if we are working with the hue again. See if we can do something to make it a little bit nicer. I think actually by putting it up, we get a little bit more of a teal, uh, like in this case. And for our primaries here, I think we are doing okay. We don't wanna mess around too much with that. Then for our masking out here, let's just see if we wanna do anything different. I do think that it looks pretty all right already, but seeing from the gamma here, I just wanna see if we can push it down towards the teal a little bit more of a deeper blue. Now I'm just using this one because that kind of give a direction of where the colors are instead of using these down here just to make sure that I get the teal bluish color that I want. I think that looks a lot better than what we had before. And looking at this in the middle, I think that looks pretty fine. I think overall it was a pretty harsh shot. The light was coming in very harsh. So I think it's it looks all right for that. And let's just move in a little bit here and play it back and see how it looks. I think that's a pretty good look from what we came from. The blues are always a little bit tricky, but let's see if we take all of our color grading notes here. This is what we came from, and this is where we're at now. So we warmed up the middle quite a lot and we fixed the water, the colors in the water. So it was very green, we can see that now, and now it looks at least more pleasant than it did before, in my opinion. So I think that's pretty good. I think this is a pretty nice look and I'm very satisfied with where we got to in a matter of just a few clicks here. One thing I wanna try before we move on is I'm just gonna make a still of this one. Grab a still and then I'm gonna delete all of these notes. Just gonna make a few notes again. And then on the fourth one here, I'm just gonna try and go in and play around with my blood packs here. So I chose Cine 2 just to see how that will look. Turning up the offset a little bit, quite a bit actually. Gonna turn down the lift a little bit and maybe the gain too, like so. And right off the bat, I think that actually did a pretty good job of getting to a result that's maybe even a little bit better than what we had before just from two clicks basically. I think this looks really good and we didn't have to do all the masking. So let's just see if we can hit somewhere around the same grade here. 
So let's just see what we're looking at. Definitely need to go further out about the last node. You can see we're actually in quite a different spot. So the grade that we made ourselves still looks better, but we are at a much faster starting point with what we just did in a few clicks. So I still prefer the look that we just did, but we also did a lot more work on that and we could easily tweak some of these things with the notes and with the masks again after this. And I think we could have got to this result a lot quicker. So just to show you, maybe we want to make it like this. This is the what we just did with a few clicks and this is what we did before. And the top one is definitely my preference. So that was just to show you a quick way to mess around with the blues and hopefully a few techniques that you can use to make some nicer blues yourself and get around to get some of those deeper blue or maybe tealish colors. It wasn't exactly a methodology to do it. It's more showing you how you can play around with different tools and how you can pull them together to get to a result that you want. And you saw how we went from a very greenish look to a much more kind of teal and orange look. I feel it was warm in the middle and then the blues out in the side. So that's all that I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, any comments, anything, just leave them down in the comment section and I'm always happy to help and answer those. And as always, have a nice day and take care until the next time.